www.cannwoodresources.com. Uh, my name is Gary Simmons and I'm one of the world's leading cannwood designers. Uh, in this video I intend to show uh, techniques that have brought me to the forefront in the candle making industry um, as a designer. These techniques uh, are quite advanced, uh, a lot more advanced than uh, some of the techniques that you've seen before uh, on YouTube uh, and I hope you enjoy them. For this technique you will need a basic uh, black candle. Um, the darker the candle the better it is. Uh, this can be a candle that you've made yourself or you've bought. Uh, the tools you will require for this is a blowtorch, one of the most used uh, tools in the candle making uh, business, uh, a knife and a cloth to polish it up. The first thing we do is to smooth off and to heat the candle. Starting at the top and working all the way down to create a smooth finish on the candle. What this will do is it will heat up the outside surface and when we start carving the candle with the knife it will enable us to do this a lot more easier than if the candle was completely set and cold. The whole idea is to make sure that if there are any drips that you chase them all the way down with the blowtorch so that you've got a smooth surface. Once that's achieved then take a knife and start to cut into the candle chunks. You can be quite aggressive with this. It's basically a carving motion as you see coming in and carving out using the thumb as you see here for balance and then the whole idea is to carve it without leaving any flat surfaces so the whole candle is worked thoroughly. Again because the candle is warm it's a lot easier to carve. With candle making once you have the basic techniques you're only limited by your imagination. At my school in southern France, my students learn all of the techniques that I have learned in the 17 years of being a candle designer. Now a lot of people say that is it very difficult to learn to be a candle maker. It may be difficult to design new techniques, but once you have them techniques, they can be taught as formulas. Now, once the candle has been completely hand carved, the object now is to take away any of these markings that the, that the knife has made. Again, I will take my blowtorch and working from the top, coming all the way down to the bottom, I will remove any of these marks. Now the whole idea is to do it very, very lightly because you don't want to remove any of these cuts that you've actually put into the candle. And you also don't want to create any drips coming down. So very, very lightly work the blowtorch from the top to the bottom and just removing any of the marks that have been put in by the cuts. Once this is done, 
take a soft cloth and wipe the candle from top to bottom. After you've done that, then coming from side to side around the candle, we'll buff up the candle and put a nice shine on it. The whole idea is to reflect the light. And there you see the finished look. If you have enjoyed this video, please go to www.candlemakingcourses.com where you will have all of the complete information on how to uh, design candles and the information on my complete school of candle making. Thank you very much for your time.